welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my April Disney haul. So may the 4th be with you. Woo! <laughs> it is May the 4th. It is Star Wars Day. I love Star Wars so I'm all up for celebrating May the 4th. So I thought I would upload this video today because I've got a few Star Wars pieces in this haul as well. I've got non-Star Wars. For you people that don't class Star Wars as Disney or if you just don't like Star Wars. Uh, but yeah, my Disney haul for April. Everything that I've bought in April and I've been sent a few pieces as well. I've been very lucky again this month. I feel like I'm actually kind of on time with this video as well. Like it's only May 4th and this is everything I've bought in April. Normally I upload it like two weeks after the month it's meant to be for. So go me. Make sure you grab yourselves a cup of tea and get comfortable. I feel like this is one of my all time favourite Disney cups. I remember I was after it for so long when it was only available in Disney World and I've, I've never been to Disney World so I was so happy when they brought them over they're a bit more expensive though, they're like £17 but so worth it okay so I do have a little blind kind of bag so this is the first thing we're going to go with today oh I feel like we haven't done one of these in a while I love these things you may remember the other month I had a blue one of these animated pencils they're now actually onto the purple ones so I literally got one of the last pink ones I am wanting baby Hercules but I was speaking to the cast member when I bought it and she said that it's really rare I think it's one in a box that they get into store so I probably not got them and they only had one pink pencil left like they were bringing the purple ones in. So I'll have to get a purple one for next month but we have one pink one so this is the Animators Collection Littles if you've got no idea what I'm talking about. They released blue pencils with certain characters in, then the pink and then the purple. So the purple are in stores now, you might be able to grab yourself a pink one. I got my 10% Disney Life discount on this so I think it was like four, no, 3 60 and it was meant to be £4, something like that. So. I have no idea who's in there. I'm so excited. I've had them for about two weeks now, so I'm very, very excited. Let's find out what's in here. Okay, pop it open. Also, the amount of you guys that replied last time, the little plastic things I now realise are to join these together, like all the pencils together, so that you make like a stack with them. So I now understand that. <gasps> Did you see that? That is my lighting. My rabbit just pushed over my light box and now he's playing with it. Apologies if the lighting has changed but my rabbit just pushed over my light box. Also a quick thing now while I remember, I don't know if the lighting looks too dodgy but my other light box literally popped when I sat down to film so I only have one light box on today and normally I have two so if it's a bit off balance I apologise I've ordered new bulbs and this won't happen again hopefully. <laughs> Where were we? Do apologise. Okay so I've pulled them out. <gasps> no way. I, can, I think I can see him. No way! <gasps> I got baby Hercules! Oh my god, I got baby Hercules! Oh my god, I got baby Hercules! Ah! Okay, the neighbours are going to think that I'm being attacked or something, but come on, focus on the baby Hercules! Look at baby Hercules! Oh my god, I can't believe I got baby Hercules! That is literally the one I was saying that I wanted. And it was like... I'm sure it was baby Hercules that she said, hang on, I'm sure it was baby Hercules that she said was like one in a box. <gasps> so they get like 30 in a box, like in the store and it's one in a box as baby Hercules. <gasps> I got baby Hercules! Oh, I'm so happy. So you get your like little learn to draw baby Hercules thing. Yeah, so the blue boxes, the blue pencils, sorry. I got baby Elsa, so I'll just show you. So in the blue pencil, I got baby Elsa there. And then in the pink box, those are the ones you can get. And I got baby Hercules. And then in the purple box, I can't believe I got baby Hercules. So in the purple ones, I kind of really want Boo's door and Boo and Mike Wazowski. There's quite a few I want in the purple one. In the pink ones, I just kind of wanted Hercules. I wouldn't mind Sebastian because he looks so cute. And in the blue, there wasn't really any that I particularly wanted. Maybe a pink Pascal. But I got baby Elsa, um, but yeah, baby Hercules! Oh, I'm so happy right now. That's literally the one I wanted and I only had to buy one pink one to get him. My life is complete. Hercules! Okay, he can go right there. Can you see that? You probably won't be able to see that. He's staying on my bedside table. So you connect them like that. So that's what these little pieces are for. But I'm not collecting all of them. I literally just wanted one for the videos because it's fun and baby hercules i just wanted baby hercules ah oh, i literally feel like i achieved something there no joke 
also from Disney Store. So we'll go with the Disney Store. That was from Disney Store, by the way. We'll go with the Disney Store things, then we'll move on to other brands. So also from Disney Store, I got another you hoo hoo. Oh, I love these. So this one is Minnie Mouse, obviously, and she is apple blossom smell. My other ones, I have the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs collection. Oh my god, the smell of them to me is happiness because if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I got sent very kindly sent the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs uh, Yuffie set um, and the smell of them is just such a happy feeling because it's like receiving them through the post is one of like my biggest achievements like ugh, I just felt so ugh, I can't believe I got sent them so when I smell them it's just like a smell of happiness I don't know if that sounds weird so they all kind of have a really similar kind of fragrance so these are only five pound in Disney store um, and apart from this one and the Seven Dwarfs one, I haven't collected any other ones because I knew that if I collected, like, start collecting the Beauty and the Beast ones, I'll want them all. And the Marie one is so cute. But when I was in the store the other day, well, I said the other day it was for Easter in Disney Store, they did this thing where if you, you got a piece of paper and then you went round the Disney Store and you ticked off character shaped Easter eggs and you had to collect, I think you had to find eight in store and then one of them in particular you had to write down where you'd found it. So it was in a weekly vlog, I went and did it in the Newcastle Disney store and if you completed it you got one of these. It was clearly for children, but I asked if I was allowed to do it and they said yes, so. <laughs> so the choices of a free Yuffie Fee were Mickey or Minnie in this kind of orange outfit and I chose Minnie. So she is like brown instead of like black because they're like pastel kind of themed with the orange and little yellow feet. She's honestly so gorgeous and for free, like that's pretty good if you ask me. So yeah, I got her for finding the Easter eggs in Disney store. So if you watched last month's Disney haul, you'll know that I got the January Mickey Memories Cup and Plush and the February Mickey Memories Cup and Plush and then I got the March Mickey Memories Cup but not the plush. It's also been the April release since then. I knew a girl that lived not too far away from me and she had a spare Mickey Memories March. I think I actually mentioned it in the Disney haul that I I had managed to find one, but I just hadn't managed to meet up with that yet. Well, I managed to meet up with that and ta-da! I got my Mickey Memories March. Isn't he just adorable? I love the colours, like I love him. I'll be honest, I do love him, but he's not my favourite so far. He's probably my least favourite. Like obviously you're gonna have favourites and not favourites. I'm not saying I don't like him. He's just not my favourite out of the ones I've got so far. So yeah, this is the March Mickey Memories. It is three of 12 on the foot there. So I'll give you a bit of a close up. Um, I did show you the couple last month for him. So I won't show it again now. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see January's, well, I say if you wanna see January's, I have January's here. Um, I was just organizing them and I've got them down. I've also got February's. I don't have the cups with me. If you want to see like them properly, check out last month's Disney haul. But yeah, so I managed to get March. I already have the cup. So I was feeling pretty good. I had the January plush cup and the February plush and cup and the March plush and cup. So yeah, I've done very, very well. I'm very lucky. And Lauren, who sold this on to me, bless her, sold it at the original price, which was very kind of her. I was very lucky I didn't have to pay eBay prices. It's also been the April release. Now, if you don't follow me on social media, then you won't know if I got the April one. But if you do follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that, then you will know that I got the April one as well. I got up at half four in the morning for this bad boy. So if you want to see all about the queuing system and how the like release went for me, it is in a weekly vlog and I think it says on it that I got April Mickey memory. So that weekly vlog, I got up at half four in the morning. I have three Disney stores to me all about an hour's drive by the time you park and walk around to it, it's about an hour to get to the Disney stores. There's one in Sunderland, there's one in Newcastle, and there's one at Metro Centre. So they're all about an hour away from me, which I don't mind, that's normal for me, like I drive to the shop. So it wasn't a problem for me to drive through. Like, yes, it would be nice not getting up at half four, but I wanted him, I needed him. So I got up at half four, got myself through. I think I got there a little bit later than I would like because I, I forgot I had to get petrol. Again, this is all in the weekly vlog in more detail with clips and things if you're interested. I was second in line. This guy beat me by like 10 minutes. I was first in line for the cup though because he didn't want the cup. And yeah, the only problem I would say, but this won't like, this won't be the same for everyone else is that the uh, shopping mall that I get my pushes at you're not allowed to queue in. Um, so you've got to go around to the Disney store, get your ticket to keep your queue place 
and then you have to leave the shopping mall and come back when the shopping mall opens and if you get there when the shopping mall opens you probably won't get one because everybody else has already gone in and got the tickets it's very confusing we're basically not allowed to queue in the shopping mall it's a bit annoying but as long as you get in you get your ticket the staff were very good at handling it when we went back around when the shopping mall opened they put us all back in order and um, there were some people that had gotten there after us who had been allowed to queue who weren't happy about us going back in front of them but we were technically there first we just weren't allowed to queue and they were it was all a bit weird but it's nothing to do with disney store this is our shopping mall but it was handled fine like i got through i got my tickets and I was allowed back in line once the mall opened and I got my plush. So, you know, it was a bit of a blah, 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 but it's fine. So the new ticketing system definitely works. My store had 48 Mickey plushes and last month they only had 45. So my store got three more plushes this time. I know some stores didn't get even half that. So I don't know why my store got more. And I know my store gets more than the Newcastle store as well. The Metro Center store, I, like, I tend to see that as my main store. I just prefer it. it's the one I've always gone to since I was little. It wasn't a problem. I managed to get them. The ticketing system works. Just make sure you get there in time to get a ticket for a plush. It worked fine for me. It was a bit of a nightmare with the actual shopping mall, but again, that was just my shopping mall. So let's have a look at him. So yeah, he's a really soft fake leather. The brown is the softest. I know he's brown in many places, but the dark brown is the softest. And then this one's soft too, but not as soft as the dark. And then he's got like, this kind of feels like carpet and so does his nose and eyes. And he's kind of like an off kind of cream. Well, I guess that's what cream is, like an off white. There we go, so four of 12. So yeah. He is very cute. He's very hot chocolatey winter to me. Obviously, he's the 40s. Uh, so yeah, this is him next to you. He does have a different shaped face. If you see that, I was looking at mine the other day and my April has a much wider face than March especially, but also February and then January is kind of more like April. It's just slight variation. It's nothing really. You know, it's just obviously the material and fabric and stuff. So he's all kind of faux leather with a bit of fleece going on. But I love him. He's probably my... I don't know if I want to say favorite. Sorry, the lighting keeps going off. I don't know if he's my favorite or joint favorite. But these two are my favorites so far. Which is weird because they're like browns and golds. Which are not really my favorite colors. Like brown and stuff. Like you would think that March would be my favorite. But yeah, I don't know. I love the waffle 20s of him and uh sorry the lighting's crazy there's no light over there oh this is so annoying i mean look at them all together i'm so lucky i can't believe i've managed to get all of them up to now i haven't gotten the pins not that i haven't had the chance i just i haven't collected the pins so that is them all together oh, i can't believe it's less than two weeks now or two weeks two weeks today two weeks today till me are you ready guys seriously if you're worried just get there as early as you can i know that's like hard to say because you might have children or you might have you might be at work or you might have to get to work i'm really lucky that i work from home and um, it is an hour's drive so i do drive through and i got there really early i think most people didn't start showing up till about eight o'clock and they got plushes but they were like 30 in line and stuff so don't worry if you can't get there really early like me i was just obsessive and really like I, I can't tell you how bad i wanted them so i was second in line so yeah and i got the cup as well so i'll show you that so yeah these are 25 uh, i get my disney like discount on them which is 10 percent off so he's 22.50 and these are 12.50 so yeah they match very nicely again there is no number on the cups to say four of 12 there is no quote that was only a quote on the first cup and none of the plushes since the first push have had quotes on them um, I do wish that they said like 4 of 12 on them. I know they say 4 or 3 of 12 or whatever on the boxes. But I'm not keeping the boxes. Like I've took them out of the boxes. And I'm using them. So it's a bit of a shame that they don't say on them. Like what number they are. But that's what it says underneath. And then that is the cup itself. It is like the perfect hot chocolate cup if you ask me. I mean how nice would it be to have a hot chocolate in that in the winter. So yeah I managed to get that. I didn't get the pins. I'm not collecting the pins personally. Nothing wrong with them. I'm just, it's just a lot of money at the end of the year. So May's release is obviously the 18th of May. It's the 18th every month. And it is pastel blue and pastel pink. So I said to myself when I first seen them, if I was only going to get one, it has to be May. So May is the one that I want very badly. Um, I mean, obviously I want to collect them all now that I've started. But May 
oh i need me like i think i might even get the pins for me so yeah wish me luck on the 18th of may but i will be going super super early to get the may plush and cup there are a lot of third party services uh from shanghai now shipping them over because they seem to have more stock over there so you could always check that sort of thing out uh, there's groups on facebook people helping each other out come july i want to say there is going to be more available in general so it'll definitely be easier after july than making more plushes so yes well done to see so on hand and a lot better and i'm very very grateful that i managed to get mine you know it's only once a month for the next year so okay so i'm pretty sure that's everything from disney store i will now move on to primark so primark is killing it with the marie stuff at the minute i kind of still want a few of the pieces does anybody have the Marie Cup from Primark? Can you drink out of it? Because I was stood the other day trying, I know it's only a fiver, honestly, I'm such a cheapskate, but I was still trying to decide whether to actually get it because I have too many cups to be pencil pots and stuff at the minute. So I was like, if I'm going to get it, I'll use it. But I'm just a bit worried the shape of it doesn't look like you can actually drink out of it. So if anyone has the Marie Primark Cup, can you let me know, can you actually drink out of it? I got some of the stationary range. Oh my God, I love this stuff. So I'm gonna get this out of the packet. So this is the Marie Fluffy Notebook. But as soon as I seen this like popping up on Instagram, I was like, I need that. It is so gorgeous. Oh my God, it's so soft. Oh, it's squishy. I was kind of hoping it wasn't lined because I kind of need a new book for drawing ideas, but uh, it's lined. Oh wow, that smells really plasticky. I kind of like it. <laughs> So this was £4.50. There is two Marie books in the new stationery. There's also a pencil case. In fact, out which side? This side. I have clips of when I was in the store the other day, so I'll put it at the side. But there's another notebook. There's a pencil case. Uh, yeah, there's a whole Marie bedding range. There's, oh, there's all sorts. So this is the fluffy notebook. It is like squishy. It kind of like springs back up. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It's really nice though. So this was £4.50. Um, a bit more for a Primark notebook, but one, it is Disney, and two, it is completely fluffy, so that's fine. So inside, it's pink at the beginning, and then the pages have little Marie's on them. Hope you can see that. Um, other than that, it's pretty plain. I'll be honest, I kind of feel like it wants to fall apart, but it doesn't seem to be yet. Like, I don't know if it's just because, like, obviously the pages are stuck down over the fluffy bit. So, yeah, it seems to be okay for now. We'll see how it holds up. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was only £4.50. Like, I know we say, oh, that's quite expensive, £4.50 for Primark. But if that was in Disney store, it would probably be like £8 to £12. So it's like a third of the price. I had to get that. It's just the cutest thing. Don't need another notebook. But hey, you can't really say no to a fluffy book. So I got this Marie stationery set. I didn't get the pencil case for it to go in because I do work from home. So I didn't really feel like I needed the pencil case. Kind of want it though but anyway i got this little set so it has um little paper kind of clip things shaped like marie i don't know how much they're going to be shaped like marie once you take them off the paper though like that marie face in the background won't be on it once you take it off but they're still cute the pink the shape so a ruler behind there with marie on two pencils there's a little rubber there as well so it's a cute set if you're needing to be kitted out for school or whatever you can get yourself a notebook for £4.50. This was £2. The pencil case I want to say is £2. And uh, there's another notebook. Yeah, like you can get yourself out for under a tenner. Like that's really... Oh, there's a Marie pen now as well. That wasn't in stores when I was in the other day. And I don't have pictures of it or anything. But it's basically got Marie's head on it. Like the... Shaped like the mirror. With... The mirror? The rubber with pink fluff around it. It is so cute. It's probably only like £2.50 or something. So I kind of do want... The pencil, uh, the pen, sorry, to go with the notebook. I think that's really cute. Like, you can kick yourself out with Marie. But anyway, all Primark. Love it. So, really affordable. So, also from Primark, you may have seen this if you watched my Primark all the other day. I got this t shirt. Well, it's actually a crop top and it ties. Um, I sized up and got a 10 in this just because I wanted it to be a bit more oversized and bigger. Don't think I needed to though. I think it's quite oversized fitting anyway, but never mind. It was £8. It's the same pattern on the front and the back. It's probably like. Well, I sized up so it's just below the belly button and then you tie it and it's got like the two straps there. So yeah, that was £8. I just love the colour. I don't feel like I wear enough red. One of my favourite colour combinations is red, black and white. So I couldn't really say no to it. I do feel like it was on the pricey side for a crop top. Like it's £8, but I know we're paying for the Disney royalties there. So yeah, I get it. But uh, I love it. So I had been eyeing up for a while as well. So that was Primark as well. So the next thing I got from Primark were these shorts. I 
love the shorts that they have out on the tables which are four pounds there's loads of them but they're all high-waisted and i don't suit slash can't wear high-waisted so high-waisted hurts my stomach and i know they're kind of like they're not jeans so they shouldn't hurt as much but i also just don't suit them like i carry my weight on my stomach so it just emphasizes my stomach like i don't know how people wear high-waisted things like it confuses me when i seen these these are actually pajamas and these are five pounds there was a matching kind of crop top which kind of makes me think that these are high-waisted as well but they were on the mannequin and they weren't high-waisted they were pulled right up and they were quite like low slash mid-rise like they were on our hips i don't know if these are going to be high-waisted i need to try them on got them in a six to eight which is a bit small for me like I don't know why Primark do this like I'm an 8 to 10 if I'm going to be between sizes and for some reason Primark does 6 to 8 and then 10 to 12 which 6 to 8 is a bit small 10 to 12 is a bit big I know a lot of people feel the same way as I do I ended up getting the 6 to 8 because I thought the 10 to 12 would make them oversized therefore high-waisted so yeah they don't look high-waisted to me but they look like they'll fit even though they're a 6 to 8 but I'll give them a go and let you know so they were five pound but if the high waisted, they'll probably end up going back. I didn't get the matching crop top because I want to, in fact, I'll put it at the side, what it looked like on the mannequin. I want to wear them as shorts. So I know the pajama shorts, but I want to wear them as shorts. Like, I don't know. Is that acceptable? That's how I'm going to wear them, if they fit. So the next thing in Primark you'll have already seen as well, if you watch my Primark haul, is the Marie cushion. Like I said, they have so much Marie stuff in right now. I don't know why I've left the tag on. I think it was to remind myself how much it was because it's been on the bed for about a week but i wanted to leave the tag on tell you it was six pounds so now i can take the tag off but yeah even the back is just i love the marie range i really do marie's not even like a favorite character of mine she's gorgeous don't get me wrong and if i ever get a cat i will get a white one and call it duchess i can't say that word duchess duchess you know what i mean or marie um or Mr. Tinkles if it's a boy. Anyway, we're getting off subject. Uh, so yeah, uh, I love the aesthetic of her. I love the cute, the white and the pink. So I had to get this and it's got like a 3D fluffy bit, like our little hair thing up there with the bow. But yeah, I had to get that. I've been eyeing it up for a while and they still had them in store. They've definitely stocked up on the whole Disney range, I think. It's a lot more accessible. It's a lot easier to get things. So the next thing was an Easter present off my auntie and it does have some bedding in it as well which was also an easter present but i've left it in there so i can show you the i'll show you what i mean basically she got me one of the new poundland bags so you'll have seen that poundland brought out another set of the poundland bags that everybody went crazy for last year including myself i got all of the bags last year um and extras because i was going to make things with them and kind of never got around to it i do still plan to do that though <laughs> but yeah they brought out some more so there's another area one um there's quite a few new ones i personally haven't been in poundland to see them just because i've got so many of them but i did really like them and my auntie picked me up the new area one so i have this one now this was an easter present uh, so these are obviously poundland and they're a pound i'm not sure how many more there is and i think they've also brought out some of the old ones again as well from last year but she also this is not disney but basically i left this in here to show you the bag easier if that makes sense and i may as well show you this it's not disney but it was just part of my easter present she got me the hello kitty bedding from primark i love the whole hello kitty range and i kind of didn't go to the shops at that kind of time when it was released I was just very busy and trying to be good with money so yeah this went down to like i don't know five pound and it's a double one so it should have been like 22 with it being like a royalty one like it's hello kitty so yeah my auntie got me that and I, I, it was either a five or a ten it was reduced right down so my auntie got me that for easter i know it's not disney but it's in there so i just thought i'd show you it i'm sure we can all appreciate the cuteness of hello kitty okay so the next few items are from truffle shuffle i have done a truffle shuffle haul on my channel a few months ago but i've got some new pieces from them so the first thing is this star wars t-shirt to celebrate may the fourth be with you um but yeah is that what you're saying may the fourth be with you yeah so this is the t-shirt i will stand up hang on so they're very kind and gifted me uh, a couple of star wars things just to help celebrate hang on i'll just pull that down <laughs> I'm just sat there saying I don't know how people wear high-waisted things, but these are my boyfriend's pants and the well, he's not huge, but they're obviously just bigger than me and they're just really comfy. Uh, so yeah, this is a Star Wars t-shirt. It just goes down to like there and it is obviously Leia and Han Solo. It is like from the old movies. 
Just pulling my pants back up there. I'm only wearing these because they're just so big and comfy, but otherwise I wouldn't wear high-waisted. I kind of really want to cut my hair this length. Oh, mini! What are you doing? Attacking me! Triple Shuffle have amazing t-shirts just in general. Like their stuff's all official Disney and they've got a massive collection, like cups, like all sorts. I love the original Star Wars. I know a lot of people don't like that Disney bought Star Wars and that a lot of people don't like the new Disney movie, uh, the new Disney movies, the new Star Wars movies. Personally, I really like the new Star Wars movies. I hope they do the final one justice, that's all I'll say. Cause they left a lot out of the most recent one and they really like need to make sure they cover everything. Like I'm expecting a lot from the last movie and this sequel. So yeah. Anyway, I like the originals. I like the prequels. I like the new ones. I like Star Wars. Um, but the originals are obviously the classics and I love this t-shirt with Leia and Han Solo. Like, oh, love it. Speaking of the classics, they also sent me another Star Wars t-shirt and this one has Leia on in her princess get up. Oh my god, it's just so subtle, but not like, I mean, you know who that is, but it's not really in your face. I mean, I don't mind in your face. But anywho, it just says Star Wars down the bottom there, and then it's got Leia on it there. You've got to love the classics, and especially Leia with the buns and the white, it's just, it's, oh, it's just amazing. Like, oh, I love Star Wars. <laughs> so this one is a ladies fit, and I got a small, so this is a small, and I'm around about a size eight. And then this one, I think, is a unisex and it's a small as well. So it looks bigger fitting than this one because this one's obviously a ladies fit. So yeah, this is a small. So thank you very, very much Truffle Shuffle. They also really kindly gifted me this Chewbacca light. Oh, I'm gonna get him out and put some batteries in so we can see what he's like. But oh my God, I have seen these and I just thought that they were the cutest little things. And my boyfriend actually needs a better bedside table lamp. He, well, at the minute, he actually uses this one and it has a picture of me and him at Disneyland two years ago, almost. So yeah, I had blue in my hair. But yeah, so he uses that one, but I'm kind of, if you follow along my weekly vlogs and stuff, I'm obviously doing a big secret project at the minute and I'm doing out the garage because I'm going to be working in there. And I think I want to take that light into the garage with me just for theming. So this can be his new bedside table light and I know he's gonna like it. You can also get Darth Vader and Stormtrooper. <laughs> I just think the Stormtrooper looks so chubby. Look at his little legs. But anyway, I thought we'd get him out and put um, a light in him and then when Matthew gets home, he can be like, what? I know he'll love it. So I will put the links to all of these things from Truffle Shuffle and everything below. Obviously Primark, I can't really link. But I'll put everything below. And thank you, Truffle Shuffle, for sending me these goodies. You guys are always really kind to me. Oh, he's the cutest. Oh, no. Okay, you need the screwdriver to put the... Um... Oh, that's really annoying. He needs a screwdriver to put the batteries in. Uh, or a mini USB also takes. But he's going to be in here. Oh, no, wait. Oh, so you can plug him in here. You can plug him into your phone charger. Okay. I will plug him into the phone charger and then I will show you a clip at the side of what he looks like because it won't stretch this far. So I'll plug him in and I'll put a clip there and that's what he looks like when he's lit up. Little Chewy. He's so cute. I'm not going to make the noise because clearly I can't do that. I love his little feet and his little hands and his belly. And then the last thing from my absolute faves over a truffle shuffle is these. Now I'm sure you have all seen the Mad Beauty Disney Princess face mask that they brought out. Everybody's going crazy for them. Why is Minnie like falling on me? Stop it, Minnie. Anyway, always trying to get in. You're here, Minnie. You're already in the picture. They've also brought out these little eye sheet masks and there's three in each packet. It's not for the full face. It's just for your eyes. So obviously like both your eyes and then there's three sets. And yeah, so there's three sets in one packet, which I think is really, re it's a really good price. Because I think in the face masks, you only get one. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, so these are official Disney as well. So these are cucumber and green tea. I cannot wait to use these. I generally can't. And they sent me two packets as well. So if they work, I have six to use, which is amazing. Very much looking forward to trying these. I do believe these are $5.99 on Truffle Shuffle. So if you've been following me a while, you'll know that I have a very good friend called Hannah Marie Magic. She is a custom ear designer. She is very, very good at it. Probably is the best. In fact, I'm gonna say it, she is. She's amazing. So most of my ears, well, all of my ears, apart from a few, 
and if um, I've obviously bought a few ears, I'm looking up there because they're up there on the wall. Um, my ears are either from Disneyland Paris, I have a few from a few other ear companies, and then most of my ears are Hannah Marie Magic. And she is an absolute babe, I've met her before we met up in the park, Disneyland Paris. Oh, she's lovely, I love her. She sent me a little gift, she is starting to venture into other little thingies. And yeah, so basically, she has started releasing pins. So she designed these pins. And she's put here is the number one of our brand new Hidden Hearts pin collection for you to enjoy. So this is the first in the collection. She's going to be releasing a new pin every few months or weeks. Make sure you follow her on Instagram to find out when they are. A completely new range to the shop, Hidden Hearts Fantasy Pin Collection. Our Hidden Hearts are inspired by the theme of love, running through each movie. We will release a new movie Hidden Hearts pin at certain points throughout the year. Each pin is limited edition no more being produced so once they're gone they're gone keep an eye out for your favorite movie and grab it while you can each release is a surprise and will be released as and when this one is don't let love float you by it is inspired by the up movie it is absolutely gorgeous and it says on it don't let love float you by and it's got the little hearts and it's oh i can't wait to put some my jacket so it's obviously inspired by the up movie and it is like a pin you can see there on the back so hannah designed this and there's going to be different pins in the collection the hidden hearts collection and yeah, make sure you follow her on Instagram if you want to know when the next one's released and make sure you head over to our Etsy, Hannah Marie Magic, if you want it because it's limited edition and they will sell out. So thank you, Hannah, for sending me that. Oh, Hannah, I'm so proud of you, I really am. So the next thing I was sent are these absolutely amazing Avengers Infinity War posters from Audion. If you follow along on my weekly vlogs or you've been watching my Disney hauls for a while, you'll know that I collect the Audion posters. When I go to the cinema, I always go with Audion. There are other cinemas near me, but I just like Audion. I like the IMAX 3D, I like the fact that they do posters for the big movie releases and I, I collect them. I also have a points card with them which I've had since they opened at the Metro Centre and I've had so many free movies with it. This is not paid by the way, this is just my experience of Audion. And yeah, they asked if they could send me out the posters for the Avengers Infinity War. So they saved me having to worry about collecting them at the movie because I went to see it last Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday I went to see it. And yeah, I was like worried about collecting them, sometimes they can get handed out quickly and it was released on Thursday the movie and I didn't go to see it till Saturday. So after I filmed that clip and I started editing this Disney haul, hi this is Sarah from the future, I realised that I didn't show you all five of them, I only held up two for some reason. So these are the two that I already showed you, so the one with Guardians of the Galaxy on and Thor and the Iron Man Doctor Strange Spider-Man one. I also totally forgot to mention that these were designed by Matt Ferguson and Marvel Studios just for Audion and they are limited edition like I said so you might want to get down to Audion and see Avengers quickly if if you want to get your hands on these posters. So thank you Audion for sending me all five. Like I said I am going to frame them, I just think all five of them like, I mean, and they're exclusively designed artwork as well. Like, I always love the Odeon posters, but the five together, I think it's going to make such a cool wall display. I'm going to get some real cool frames for these. I think, like, purple and pink kind of frames to go with, like, the background. But, yeah, this is the Thanos one. This is the Captain America one with, like, the Winter Soldier there. Oh, my God, I love it. And then this one has, like, Black Panther and Hulk on. And my favourite Black Widow, woo! So, yeah. I am very, very happy with these. And back to Sarah in the past, who's a numpty and only held up two. Basically, if you go with Audion to see um, a big release of a movie, like, um, what other ones have I got? I've got Star Wars ones from when that movie came out, like the last Star Wars movie. I've got a Beauty and the Beast uh, paper rose that like was a poster and then you made it into a paper rose from when that movie came out. I've got so many. I've got a massive one for Assassin's Creed. I've got loads of X-Men ones. Basically, they just bring out a poster for the big movie releases. So, Audion asked if they could send me them, which was great because I collect them anyway. So, thank you, Audion, for sending me those. So, the final thing I have to show you. So, if you follow along on the weekly vlogs and you've already seen this. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I'm going to show you this, but let me show you. I still can't believe I've been sent this. Like, oh, I'm so grateful. Yes, I've got my Disney throw on. Okay, I apologise if the angles change, but I had to change the battery. So, I got sent... A giant stormtrooper! <laughs> oh my god, so this, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't, is a suitcase. I got sent a American tourister stormtrooper suitcase! Oh my god, I love it so much! Somebody please take me to Disney World. <laughs> like, oh my god, I need to take this on holiday. It is perfect. So, yeah, it's pretty huge. Uh, I think this is the medium one. So there's an even bigger one than this. Like, if you want to see 
a proper me just drooling all over it check out the weekly vlog i'll put in the corner of what, which weekly vlog i unboxed it in but honestly like oh i just love it so like i said i'm gonna put it at the bottom like properly show you it but it's got like locking system on the side there for your zips to go in it has like a handle on the side handle on the top the stormtrooper is on the front and the back like it's pretty hefty Ugh. Um, it's got those like wheels that like just wheel in all directions like ugh, I've never had a proper suitcase I've never had a suitcase that you can just wheel along the floor without having to like tip it over my suitcase was 20 pound in Asda five years ago it doesn't even fit one outfit in with a pair of shoes it's ridiculous and I don't know how I've been using it I needed a new suitcase like but I never thought I'd be able to get one of the Disney ones so if you don't know who American Tourist are then where have you been? <laughs> like, I have seen their Disney collection, it, like, before they asked if they could send me this. So they also have, like, a Darth Vader, a BB-8, an R2-D2. They have, like, a whole Disney collection. So they have, like, Mickey Mouse, like, Donald Duck. Like, oh, their suitcases are amazing. And, like, it's such good quality. Like, oh, I know, like, I'm clearly a suitcase numpty and I've never had one properly before. But I can't even tell you. So there's a handle up there and then this pulls out. And then you just kind of wheel it around the floor. Oh, I'm in love. Like, I still can't believe I got sent this. I can't believe I got sent this. Like, I can't even explain. You probably just like, Sarah, it's a suitcase. But it's not just a suitcase. Like, this might sound stupid, but like, I mean, you might know, you might not know. But even accessories to me need to be like, in your face. Like, I can't just have like, a plain handbag or a plain suitcase. Like, what, like my own suitcase that I use at the minute, I've got a picture probably at the side for you. It's just a little pink leopard skin one. It's the loudest one I could afford at the time where we're going to Thor Park. When we went away like abroad, I used my mom's suitcase and my nana's suitcase. Like I've never had an adult suitcase. I've always just like when we were going to Thor Park, I ran into Asda, bought that little pink one and I've been using it for Disneyland. I've been using it to go down to London. Like it is not big enough. Flails all over the place because it's just got wheels on one side and oh. So I knew at one point I was gonna have to get myself a suitcase, but American Tourister <sighs> gifted me this case. And I'm just like, oh, I just can't believe it. Like, I'm gonna shut up because I don't wanna be annoying. But thank you so much, American Tourister. American Tourister has like an Instagram, so you can go on there and check out how other people have like styled the suitcases. They've got marble ones, rose gold ones, mint ones, pink ones, you name it. They are the suitcase gods. And I always wanted, one of these amazing ones that I always see on Instagram that are like they're always American Tourister like tagged American Tourister so yeah check out other people's like suitcases they've got from American Tourister oh there's a hashtag me and my AT which is people using them so you can see all the different like suitcases that they do the quality is amazing like I know you are probably just like Sarah it's a suitcase for god's sake but I was just blown away by the quality and the fact that now I can have just an extension of me and my luggage i know that sounds stupid i wanted a disney suitcase or a bright pink one or something like that so the fact that someone has gifted me a stormtroop one is just like i don't know i probably just sound like i'm exaggerating and trying to promote this company but i'm just really grateful for this suitcase right now i feel like it's the perfect suitcase like now no i can't explain it and i probably sound really materialistic but i'm very grateful for this suitcase so that was everything this month thank you to the companies truffle shuffle and hannah marie magic and american tourister and Odeon for sending me all those gifts like i am being spoilt i really am and i hope you enjoyed the things that i picked up in primark and disney store and thank you to my auntie for getting me that little mermaid bag from poundland people ask me all the time when i'm going back to disney as well and i'm hoping soon but i don't know it's expensive <laughs> and the fact that I now have a Disney suitcase as well, it's like I want to go to Disneyland so bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Disney haul. Good luck to everybody who wants to get the May one, uh, the May Mickey Memories that is. I know it's not for another two weeks, but the next time I speak to you will be May's Disney haul. Well, if you only come back for my Disney hauls. So yeah, make sure you keep up to date with me on my Instagram and my weekly vlogs if you want to find out what I buy on a weekly basis like sooner rather than waiting for monthly hauls or whatever. Or if you want to see if I managed to get the Mickey Memories on the day then definitely follow my instagram story give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me i do hauls weekly vlogs diys vlogs when i go to disneyland please please go back to disneyland sarah at some point i'm having the worst disney blues ever i'm gonna stop laughing i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>